A seed. A little part of a tree. A little thing that no one notices. A seed. A little piece of wood that contains thousands of pages of information. Time will pass. This piece of wood will begin to use sunlight and the water and minerals in the earth. In time, it will grow millions of times its size. And it will become one of the greatest miracles for people to see. It will become a tree. Everyone knows what a seed is, but perhaps they have never considered how countless different plants come from a little thing that looks like a piece of wood. But if you think more carefully about a seed, you will see that it is a great miracle. The colors, designs, smells, and all the other qualities of the plants you see around are hidden in a tiny seed. Actually, every seed is a wonderful data bank. Seeds contain the information for each branch and leaf of the plant they belong to, the number and shape of the leaves, color and thickness of the outside covering the number and size of the tubes that transport water and nourishment, the height of the plant, whether or not it will bear fruit, and if it bears fruit, its taste, smell, shape, and color. In short, seeds contain all the information that can be known about a plant. The redness of a rose, the veins in a leaf, the number of leaves, their texture and velvety softness and the proportion of substances that give a rose its smell are all pieces of this information. It is this information that makes grapes come from little sacks filled with sweet water that grow on vine branches that look like dry sticks. The information that makes the skin of a grape different from a hazelnut shell and gives each of them the color, taste, smell, and vitamins it contains. What causes the watery texture of one and the dry texture of the other is all included in the embryo of every seed. Human beings use computers to store information. Special computer components called hard disks are designed to store information. These high-tech devices are quite primitive when compared with a tiny seed. Within a seed there are hundreds of thousands of pages of information and complex systems that human beings have not yet been able to understand or replicate. This is because God created the seed and God brought into being the systems contained within it. A tiny seed by itself is a proof of God's incomparable and magnificent art of creation. 
Every seed is encompassed by God's knowledge. It grows with His knowledge and becomes a plant. God reveals this truth in a verse of the Quran. The keys of the unseen are in His possession. No one knows them but Him. He knows everything in the land and sea. No leaf falls without His knowing it. There is no seed in the darkness of the earth, and nothing moist or dry which is not in a clear book. The first condition for a seed to be formed is the union of the female cell in the plant with a male cell from another plant, that is pollen. But there is a question. Plants don't move. That's why God created miraculous ways for the pollen of one plant to be delivered to the female cells of another plant. As we will soon see, a grain of pollen no larger than a speck of dust has a wonderful design of amazing complexity. God has created millions of different plants and the millions of grains of pollen that these plants need. A large amount of this pollen is carried by the wind. These little grains are responsible for the allergies that many people have in the spring. When pollen reaches the organelles of another plant where the egg cell lies, it fertilizes that cell. Other plants use animals as special couriers to transport their pollen. The couriers they use most are insects. Because of the colors, sweet smells and nectar that God has given them, flowers attract insects. When we look carefully at the relationship between flowers and insects, we see the harmony in the creation of these living things. Of course, the wonderful design of pollen and plants was not created by the plants themselves. The wonderful method